He compared this against the LG that they had at Best Buy. And as you can see with these images, this one looks much clearer. So uh, let's go and get out of the box and do some uh, testing on it. Now don't get me wrong, I really enjoy LG monitors. In fact, I used two of them back in the day. Great monitors, but after seeing that side by side, I definitely wanna pretty much check out this Samsung, which was the exact same price. Now I won't tell you that this monitor is gonna do anything special because it's only 300 nits of peak brightness, but the fact that it's gonna be used on an auxiliary computer makes it perfect. The first thing we have here looks like a power brick and it comes with an HDMI cable. And this is a 60 hertz screen, so it's not gonna be mind blowing, but it's great for what we need it for. It also comes with this plastic piece for the back of it. And here's that Wi Fi, it's got that V look to it, so it has that new space age look to it. All right, so it looks like it's packed very well in here. And let's go and get the monitor out. And there we go. That's pretty much it. So here's what the backup looks like. You have a headphone output. You have two HDMI 2.0s, a display port input, and this is 1.4. You also have a service port and you have the power input. Put together very easy. We're just gonna snap this piece in. And on the back of it, there's a screw. We're just gonna go and tighten that up right there. Very easy. And then this bottom piece just snaps right in. And one thing about this monitor, it does have a matte finish to it. So you can see some reflection on it, but it's not too bad. And this is a IPS panel, which makes it uh, great for having better colors and viewing angles, but you might not have that black level that you get from a VA panel. So let me power it up so we can test it out with a gaming console and a computer. So here we have the PS5 connect to it. You can see it will do 4K at 60 frames per second, supports HDR and HDCP 2.3, but let's play a game and see what happens. All right, so we have Dirt 5 here, and keep in mind that this monitor does not have speakers, but if we press here, you get the menu system on the bottom. The monitor looks great. It's just not that bright because I haven't done any adjustments on it, but right here below the Samsung logo, you have a press button. If you go that way, you change the inputs. If you come this way, we have picture in picture, so you can use two different HDMI inputs on this, and you can switch and have a little box in the corner. If you go down, you're gonna basically turn the monitor off. Now, it does have a volume control, but keep in mind this monitor does not have speakers, so if you hook up headphones, you'll be able to get the volume out of that, or if you hook up external audio, that'd be fine there. So we hit it again. If we go to the top right there, press on it, then you get the full picture menu. Over here, you can control the brightness, contrast, sharpness. See, as we go down right here, and you can also change the response time as well as the screen radius. If we go back here, there's your picture in picture mode. Let's see what it looks like while I'm in there. So the screen will blank, looks like. And over here, you can see HDMI 1 and 2, so it does a side by side by the looks of it. So when it did that, you have to reconfigure the monitors, but I think this is more for if you have it hooked up to a Windows computer or something like that. Let's go ahead and go over here and exit out the PIP. All right, so now we got the game plan again. Let's go here and look at the other options. Press up, press that little window. You can change the on screen menus here. You have system. And over here, you can go over and see the version of the display port. It will support 1.1 and 1.2. You have HDMI mode, right now we have it in 2.0. And then this is for FreeSync if you have a computer that supports it, as well as AV or PC mode. So when you select this, you can choose which input from the menu. But that's pretty much the menu system right there besides turning off the LED. You can uh, turn that light off right there. So as you can see, the gameplay is smooth, but it's gonna be a little bit on the darker side when it comes to gaming. So now we switched over to Xbox. Let's take a look at it. You can see that it will support 4K. And down here, it will support the 1440p, 1080p, and 720p. If we go over to the TV details, now you can see again, it will support 60 frames per second, as well as HDR10 gaming, 24 frames per second, and 10 bit. And video modes, you can see that it will not support auto low latency or verbal refresh rate, but you know, again, I'm using this for a video editing monitor, so keep that in mind if you decide to get something like this. Oh, and another thing I forgot to show you earlier is that you do have a gaming mode right here where you can basically scroll down 
you can have it always on or off but again it won't support anything besides what i just showed you as far as gaming but it gives it a little bit faster uh input lag time and here's some gameplay on it the response time on this is really good and the flames on it has a much better picture than i anticipated now for the xbox i think this is gonna be a good monitor to have for someone who's not looking to spend a lot of money you have an xbox and you're just looking for something that gives you you know fairly good results without breaking the bank of spending five or six hundred dollars i mean this one's okay so on a computer it looks really good and the resolution right now is 4k and one thing i just want to show you here is that this is the amd FreeSync, and you can see that it's turned on but there's a trick to it you have to press this button in the center go into the menu and make sure that the free sync is activated if you don't do that you won't be able to get that variable refresh rate but there's plenty of controls in here where you can do the scaling on the computer you can do the hdmi link assistance and all types of hdmi scaling and you can see that it will support rgb 444 as well as all the different settings in here so you do get full control since i mainly use apple this pc is not that powerful but at the same time, I want to show you that AMD FreeSync does work. And again, this computer doesn't have a lot of power to do any kind of game or anything on it. It's just for uh, Windows type videos. In my opinion, if you're just looking for a computer to get some basic work done, but you want to have better than 1080p, this definitely is one to go with. So I have this computer all set up on this uh, auxiliary editing station. And so far, I really like it. I will say that on the other computer, I have the Sony M9. It is much brighter than this monitor, but for what we need this for and been the fact that it's 4K, it actually looks really good. But I want to talk about this. I made this video six years ago on the Samsung U28E 590D, and you guys watched it 367,000 times. So hope you guys like this video as well but that was crazy that you watched that video so much and far as deals uh, i bought this from best buy and right now the lg uh, the 27 up 600 is going for 229 and i was able to pick this one up for the exact same price the benefits for me over going with that one at this time is that again i showed you those demos earlier and this one looked a lot cleaner as far as the colors and I like the fact that you get 28 inch screen instead of 27 inch screen, it's the exact same price. Uh, you can tilt this monitor back and forth, not too much, but that's okay. And you cannot swivel it, but you can just move it around the way you need it. Uh, the other things I would say about this monitor is that the controls down here are very simple to use and it will support the HDR, which we're not gonna activate that here on this computer. Uh, we're just gonna do everything in STR. Um, far as reason we got this one, I have a um, NAS server that has 100 terabytes of storage in it. That's a lot of storage. And that's where we put all of these uh, videos on. And look at this. It is right now playing this footage, which was recorded on these Sony um, cameras and HDR. But the thing is, is that it's running through a 10 gigabit ethernet going over to this Mac M2. And this is a base model. And I would say this new Mac equipment is just really good. I mean, no cap, it's really good. On my main computer that I use on the other side of the room, uh, I bought the Mac Ultra, which is, is mind boggling how much better computers have got over the years. Uh, been using those 27 inch iMac Pros and they're great computers. They do support the 10 gigabit ethernet, but you can see where these Apple silicone chips is really great for Final Cut uh, editing. Uh, with that being said, when it comes back to the monitor, I think it's a pretty good monitor. It's, uh, it's gonna be for someone who's looking for something that's 4K and basic, but this is not a gaming monitor. Even though it supports FreeSync, you're only gonna max out 60 frames per second. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh, one last thing. Uh, I purchased five new TVs. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of budget TVs on this channel for a while because after CES, you won't see those TVs to summertime. So I wanna give you guys some decent content until then, and we'll do some more comparisons because I think I have like 20, 25 TVs or something in storage. So yeah, that's all we have on this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.